Hello and welcome to SAR Histories where you are joining me here today in my office for a quick review video of Twilight Tours at Tutbury Castle. So for those of you that don't know, here's a bit about Tutbury Castle. Tutbury Castle crowns a hilltop in the heart of England, dominating the flat landscape around it. Human inhabitants at this site can be traced back to the Stone Age and in the medieval period became of strategic importance to the de Ferris family. Tupri has faced a turbulent past, with the castle being demolished and rebuilt on numerous occasions. The castle has been host to some noteworthy historical figures, such as Margaret of Anjou, Richard III, Mary Queen of Scots, Henry VIII, and Charles I. During the English Civil War, Tutbury Castle was a royalist stronghold that saw action in the Siege of Tutbury. Eventually, the castle surrendered and Parliament ordered its destruction. Today, Tutbury Castle is a tourist attraction which hosts a variety of historical reenactments, historical speakers and many other events throughout the year. While visiting, it is easy to see why so many people chose this site as their stronghold and why Tutbury Castle is such an important historical place. So I have now been on two Twilight Tours, one in June in the summer and one in October. Now both were very good and offered different experiences. So I'll just talk about the first one first, which was in June. So with it being summer, obviously the, the weather was hot, glorious evening for it. As it says, it's a twilight tour, so you, you do go up in the evening about half seven. It lasts about an hour long. So we got there and we met at the ticket office. And the tour guide was a, a man called Dale, very knowledgeable. And he guided us round. And this is perhaps where it differs with this, the second one, because I felt more the first one... We got to the nitty gritty of the castle again because it was clear he was able to show us the different stoneworks, the different building periods. And, you know, as he shared the history, he was able to show us a, a lot more as well as it was very visible up there as, as to why they chose that site, as you've probably seen in that, that short just. It was yeah it was you could see for miles around up there and obviously he was telling the stories of the historical events up there and it all gelled really nicely as well we managed to go in the dungeons and other sections that are currently closed off because it was nice we could go in that day so the most recent twilight tour um obviously half past seven it was dark and when we got there, we met in the CAF. That is where it began. And it was the tour guide then who was taking us out was someone, uh, someone. It was Gareth, who is uh, a coin expert, I think, for the British Museum. Very knowledgeable. He, he took us out outside and gave a, a really good history account. He, he, it seemed to expand from the castle into more local areas that historically like it was a much broader talk I felt um, very good very good very knowledgeable chap but then you would expect him to be uh, so yeah he took us out first stopped us about by the uh, by the mound get my words out he stopped us by the mound gave us a quick talk of saying you know the origins of the castle from the Stone Age, and then going forward through history, what, what they found archaeological wise. And then he took us by the ruins of the church and gave 
later history a lot a lot of detail in there so if you do like history you're gonna you're gonna love it now because it was dark unlike the first tour we couldn't you couldn't see anything I mean the tour guide had a torch but that was literally for just finding your way across things you couldn't see anything you couldn't see out across the landscape you couldn't go into the ruins like the dungeons or anything it was just too dark um, but it was still really enjoyable because it, it was a cold night it was cold clear and the stars were out and being up there like that in the castle was just there was something majestic about it absolutely breathtaking even in the dark now I, I'm I'm local to Tutbury so I, I I do know the surrounding area and I go up regular and um, you've probably seen on my channel videos before of of all that so I didn't feel I was missing out anything if you traveled far you might be slightly disappointed because you couldn't see much it was still a great tour though so Gareth gave us a really detailed a brief detailed history should I say um, but it wasn't brief as in oh it was short it did go on for a, a good length of time it was only briefly it didn't go into right nitty gritty just briefly which was good because obviously it was understandable there's people up there perhaps didn't know history but it had been enjoyable to them so great stuff so after Gareth finished with us we went back inside then up into the great hall where his wife Leslie who is the creator of Tutbury Castle she then took over and gave more of the history and her enthusiasm certainly came across absolutely brilliant she really passionate about history uh, which is absolutely fantastic to see and so yeah in the great hall she showed us a few of the objects in their paintings and gave the history and it was absolutely fantastic um, I didn't film any of the tour simply because you know it's a ticketed event and to if I'd have filmed it you'd have perhaps thought oh, there's no point paying to go up and that is the whole point you know that it's a local thing that the, they are trying to make money to, to upkeep of the castle so I didn't film any of it for that reason, but I'm giving you a, a, a review now just to really try and intrigue you in to go up because it is really, really good. Um, they are doing more tours next year, so if you don't get a chance this year, I don't know if there is any more, I will leave the link to their website in the descriptions below. So, you know, go on and check that out, book a tour, but you don't have to just book a tour they do like I said they do events throughout the year so if you do go up for a tour it's dark you can't see anything do go up when it's when it's in the day you won't be disappointed um, so just to conclude in a few final thoughts let's say I would say is it worth going booking for a twilight tour ultimately definitely yes I will say yeah definitely yes because it's not too expensive actually it, it's I, I feel it's value for money actually um, I live local as well so that kind of sways me a bit because oh it's just up the road now if I had to travel far for it I would lean towards going in the summer simply because I feel you can see more of the castle and if you get the opportunity to go in places like the dungeons um, it adds that bit of extra to it as well um, so yeah if I live far away I would perhaps head for the summer but then saying that there was something about it just going up in in the evening um, that was I can't put my words on it saying you couldn't see a lot there was just something about it. there was a good aura about it you know it was, it was definitely worth doing the downside is you don't get to go in places like the dungeons if they're doing it in the future which I know they are could they perhaps 
do something so you could go in more places in the dark as well. I know it's difficult to do because there there is steps uh, and whatnot. So and obviously these areas aren't lit, so they would have to be all that in place to do it safely. Could they do it? Could be done. Will it be done? Probably not, because it's not as easy to get things done. I'll see. It's still owned by the Duchy of Lancaster, which is, if you don't know, Her Majesty the Queen herself. So obviously all permissions have to come from from that avenue, I, I expect. So not, not so easy to do. Um, so yeah, that's basically just my brief thoughts about the tour. You should definitely do them. Uh, anyone watching who is local and looking to spend, you know, a couple of hours in the evening, absolutely do it. Um, definitely worth the money as well as you know they have a cafe where you can sit and have drinks I mean in the summer I um, I bought a beer up there after the tour just sat uh, had a drink in, in the location absolutely fantastic as well as you could do that in winter as well what you know whenever you go it is a fantastic place to sit have a, have a drink uh, absolutely brilliant so um, I think I will leave it there because I've been rambling on quite a lot. Um, so yeah, basically, definitely worth going. If I was to give it marks out of 10, I would give it a 9, probably. 8.5, 9. The reason not a full 10 is because... Um, what would I... What would I say? I'd just say these, obviously, because of my last experience, though we managed to go up there and the tour was brilliant. We didn't get to see a lot. That was probably just took the slight edge off things. Um, but I've seen in the summer, totally different experience. Like we got to see the old gates and, and whatnot. So at a push and shove, which was better for me personally, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't say that probably the summer because the tour guide is absolutely brilliant and you could see a lot more so for me personally I'd at a push say summer but that's not to say the one I've just been on the second one was any any less really it's to be honest I'd say they're probably both even but both have the good good qualities so yeah a good yeah I'll score it a 9 from 10 because obviously there's always room for improvement. Um, they always, as well, just before I go, I will say they have a lot of time for you as well. So after the tour's finished, they, they do say, you know, if you want to come and ask them questions, you can. And believe me, I didn't feel like it was rushed. Uh, time was obviously getting on for people when we finished, but I didn't feel it was rushed at all. And I felt they'd have spoken to you all night about history especially uh, Leslie she's very enthusiastic her, her passion for it really comes across so I will just leave it there this time so there we have it book yourself a ticket to the Twilight Tours at Tutbury Castle so if you've enjoyed this episode please like and subscribe and I'll see you again for more historical stuff in the future until then goodbye